Zan from India. Assalamu alaikum, Sheikh. Assalamualaikum. Sheikh, my question was that when the time for suhoor and for iftar, when I see them using Umm al Qura timings, what if the timings of the local masjid are like one or two or five or ten minutes earlier or later than the Umm al Qura timing? What should I follow? Okay, I will answer inshallah. Faizan from India, he says, we know that you always promote Umm al Qura calculation for determining the prayer times globally. And you say that it is the most accurate calculations with the exception of Isha prayer, because this was a mistake, a huge mistake, and it has to be changed, but who's listening? To fix Isha to be one hour and a half throughout the whole year after sunset is definitely uh, uh, wrong. And there's no excuse for it, none whatsoever. Especially when lots of the women would delay their Maghrib, thinking that it's still time because Isha did not, uh, uh, um, uh, was not called for yet. There's an hour and a half. Not knowing that the redness in the twilight disappears after maybe 65, 70 minutes, not 90 minutes which means that they will be praying Maghrib after the time was over. So um, uh, Faizan says, what happens when in Fajr or in Maghrib sunset, the Mu'addin who gives the Adhan, because we live in Bangladesh or in India, so we can hear the Adhan from the masjids. What happens if it's earlier or later than Umm al-Qura by few minutes? Allah Azza wa Jal has ordered you as an individual not to break your fast until the sun sets and not to refrain from eating and drink, drinking until the true dawn breaks. If you are unable to see this personally, in this case, in Islam, you're instructed depend, to depend on the Mu'addin, not on your Muslim app or uh, Finder, Islam Finder, whatever they call them, or uh, on uh, uh, the calendar. You depend on the Mu'addin. And he takes the blame for being late or being early. So this is what you're supposed to follow. 